life is movement, life is process, that challenges arise, challenges have to be met. Why Bohm was attracted to all of this was this issue uh, having to do with the relationship between what you call the observer and the observed. And in quantum physics, in the study of the behavior of the electron, you have this very mysterious property that the very act of observing the electron changes it in such a way that there's a link between the apparatus of observation and what is observed. And um, there's a, you know, a kind of an almost um, legendary now idea that um, uh, Bohm was in the library with his wife and she happened upon this book of Krishnamurti's which had that phrase, the observer is the observed, and brought it to Bohm's attention and that's what precipitated his interest. But it, it, it really goes a, a lot deeper than that because Bohm didn't just see that phrase. He read the whole book and it was the whole point of view presented in that book that made him contact you know, Krishnamurti's publisher and, and get together and have a meeting. And when the two men sat down together, um, either Bohm would have certain questions that were on his mind that he just wanted to explore. In the process of exploration, who knows where it would lead. Bohm was a universal genius. He had a quality of genius in any direction that he directed his attention. He is unique, I would use that word.